So this will be a very simple tutorial on socket programming. So here you have the server and here you have the client. We want to send a message from the server to the client. Now this server and client could be in different locations on the network or even outside the network. So I'm going to create the server and then I'm going to pass a message. I'm going to start this server and then we are going to start the client and see how this client receives the message from the server. Again, I'm doing it on my local host, but you can actually do it on a different, on two completely different systems. So let's start. So the first thing you need to do is called, now this is socket programming, that is the name of this. Uh, and you are going to import socket and you are going to create a socket. I'm going to call it S. I'm going to say S is equal to socket, the socket. And now we are going to specify the socket family and the socket type. So the socket family is going to be socket.afinet and the socket family is going to be socket.socstream and we have very nice IntelliSense. And the next thing we want to do is to bind the socket to the host name and the IP address. So I'm going to say s.binds and specify the host name. So it's going to be socket dot get host name and then specify a second parameter to be the IP address and sorry the port not the IP address specify the port let's use port 6060 and the next step you now need to you now have to list in for connections so now we have created our server we want to listen to connection the maximum number of connections now is going to be five all right, so we are listening for connections for any message, uh, for any connection from a client. So if a connection comes, we are going to send a message to that connection so that the client will receive the message. So I'm going to say while true. So while there is a connection coming, I'm going to say clients, I'm going to create another socket. This is now going to be client socket. So the, the socket used by the client to connect because the both sides, well, the, the server and the client has to be socket. So this time we have the client socket is going to be the client socket and the address uh, will be coming from the client is going to be as dot accept. So it's going to accept the connection uh, yeah, and assign the address of the incoming connection to address and assign the, the, the incoming socket to client socket all right, so I want to print a message that says uh, that shows our connection has come. So I'm going to say print and I'm going to use a format and I'm going to say connection connection uh, established. Connection established from um, address. Um, I will now specify the address. Okay, and that's this address coming in from here. All right, so I'm going to just call it address. Perfect. All right, and then I'm going to send it a message. So I'm going to say client socket the same. So basically, I'm sending a message now to the client socket. That's this message that is going to be received by the client. So I'm going to send it in bytes. Um, the message is going to be welcome to welcome to the server and then uh, the encoding is going to be utf8 all right all right so this is a message we are going to send to the client each any time the client succeeds in connecting i'm going to close the socket at this time all right so our server is ready the socket is ready listening for connection so we are going to our client now to write the the code that is going to be used to connect. So again, you're going to import, import socket, import socket, and this time we are going to create a socket just the same way socket the socket. Sorry, I think I could have just copied the original, the, the previous one I have. So it's going to be socket dot stream dot finite, and the socket type is going to be socket dot stream. Yeah, that is fine. And then I'm going to say s.connect. So when you say s.connect is about the same, so I'm going to say s. Uh, sorry, socket.get hostname and specify the same 
name of the server, the same the same um, IP address of the server, and in this case we are using the same host name, uh, which is my local machine. All right, so I'm going to say six zero six zero, and finally I'm going to receive the message coming from the server. So I'm going to say msg. Let me just call it message is equal to s dot receive and let's just say let's say um 2048 bytes okay the message has been received i'm going to just print out this message receive uh, message received let me just call it message received received I'll put here just say just put a format here sorry and it's going to be message all right so we are complete we've completed building our server and our client so the server i'm going to start it now and we are sure it's going to uh, start listening and when the connection comes in it's going to send this message and the client will receive it so let's run this code so i'm going to run the server first and yeah so it's running for now nothing has happened no connection has coming so if i come to the client and now run the clients run client you can see message received welcome to the server and if i go to the server you can see that here the server connection established from address 1027 127.0.0.1 so this is how to do socket programming. This is actually the basis of socket programming. No matter how complex it is, this is how it breaks down to a server and a client, or a client and a server. Actually, a server can be a client depending on if it's sending or receiving, receiving a message. I'm gonna to like to stop here. Please pr play around with this. And if you have found this very informative, please subscribe to my channel. I remain kind on the Tech Pro, and I'm always there for you.